everyone welcome back to another video and today guys i do actually have another arcade block unboxing uh, i told you guys in my last arcade block that either that one or this one was going to be my last one but i'm actually doing one more after this so stay tuned so you guys will get to see that one as well um this is actually going to be the box for august um it is now september obviously hopefully i'll still upload this video in september um like I, if you guys know my schedule it's kind of random so um yeah but here it is. I'm going to open it up, show you guys everything that's in it, and hope you guys enjoy. Um, but before I do that, I have a quick announcement. I am recording this video with my new iPad mini. Um, so if the quality still turns out great, let me know. I'm going to edit it in iMovie, kind of like what I've been doing with my iPhone. I was recording and editing on iMovie, although it's a little harder on this tiny screen. So I'm going to try it out on my iPad. If it looks okay, let me know, guys. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and open this up and I'll show you everything that came in it. And as you guys know, if you have been watching my videos, I don't do an actual unboxing of these. I kind of do it in re-unboxing because I still want to share them with you guys. So, I have already seen everything in the box. Now the first thing we get, we do get a Mortal Kombat X or Mortal Kombat 10 plushie. So this is really nice. Um, this is actually my very first plushie that I've gotten from any subscription box. So I'm very happy about that. You either get this one or a blue one, so um, yeah, you either get the one of the one of the two. So really neat, and I'm really happy with the yellow one. I've seen the blue one from another unboxing. Um, I feel like it's just too dark, but I like yellow. Yellow is fine with me. Up next, we do get a T-shirt, which is awesome. Um, if you guys don't know, I love getting T-shirts. This one does say. Counter Strike. So yeah, that's pretty neat. Now I've never actually played a Counter Strike game, unfortunately, but I like the way the shirt looks. It's got I like the color balance on it too. It looks nice. So yeah, we do get that as well. Up next, we do get this Briss Van. Um, it is an exclusive, and it looks like it's a reference to um, Rock Band, maybe. I'm not really sure which one, but uh, yeah. I don't normally I don't normally wear these, but I do keep them. I have a few of them from past boxes. So next up, we do have a soundtrack. So it is a CD. It's a Scott Pilgrim versus the World the game. So there's that. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this. I've never played Scott Pilgrim, so I can't really relate to it. But I'd like the art style of the characters. So that's kind of neat. I love that that style of. Uh, like cartoons and stuff, um, or games or whatever, so maybe I'll try it out. Up next, we do get this little, like, mini flag. It says Boston Bolt Dwellers, so that's pretty nice. We also get the usual arcade block card. It has on the front the product of the month, and on the back it talks about everything else that comes in the box. So, if you do want a surprise, I recommend you don't looking. You don't look at this um, until afterwards. Oh, and just to let y'all know, okay, it's either Scorpion or Sub-Zero of the plushie. I always forget their names, um, and it's been a long time since I've played a Mortal Kombat game, so, oh um, yeah, so there's that. We also get another card in the box. It says, The Legend of Zelda 2, A Link to Arcade Block. And this right here is the only reason I did sign up for one more month of Arcade Block. Um, so, yeah. Uh, it's got a little bit of a story on the back of it. You guys can pause it and read it if you would like. Um, but yeah. That's the only reason I did sign up for one more month. I didn't want to miss out on it. Um, so, yeah. And then, after that last box, I should start over in January. So, yeah. And the last thing that we do get in this month's well, technically last month's box, is another retro video game magazine. I actually like reading these magazines. There's some pretty neat stuff on them, stuff in them. Um, and sometimes they have stuff that you can, like, actually, like, you can buy, but you don't buy from the magazine. You can go online and look for it or something like that. Um, like, the last video game magazine I got was, like, two boxes ago or something like that. And they had a Retron 5 in there, so I am looking to buy one of those. So that way I can play all my retro games again. Because if you guys don't know, I can't play them right now. So yeah. I do like these magazines. 
that is everything we do get in the box, guys. If you did get this month's box, let me know. Um, also, let me know what your favorite item was. Um, and don't forget to let me know if the video still looks okay. Um, again, I'm going to ed edit this in iMovie on my iPad. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching.